Today, we talked to Forest Hill Superintendent Dan Beam. He says that his district's working to meet those requirements, but his bigger concern is that the money schools will get if they meet the requirements is only available this year. We're looking at the requirements right now. We've got some questions about the specifics of each one, and that comes out typically in rulemaking. And so as we look at the requirements right now, it's certainly possible. I would not say it's impossible, but we have some questions. These dollars to meet these four out of five requirements are one-time monies. The uh, per-pupil funding is being reduced by $300 per student. Uh, it's a historic cut to K-12 uh, funding when there's a surplus that exists uh, in the school aid funds. Teachers would be impacted by some of these changes, so we wanted to get the union's opinion on this. Paul Helder from the Grand Rapids Education Union says that he questions those best practices. First, there's no evidence at all that these are best practices in any way, shape, or form. There's no evidence that any of these things help schools. Second, again, if you have the money and you're planning on spending on education, spend it there. Don't blackmail people. It's a ridiculous idea. Our coverage of the state budget and its impact will continue on 24-Hour News 8 at 6.